Okay, so in this video, we're going to be removing the OEM top mount of the strut and utilizing it for the new coilover. So basically, it's going to look like what you see here and end up looking like what you see here. So as you can see, that right there is the OEM top mount utilized on the new coilover. So, but in order to remove this top mount from the OEM strut, we need to use a spring compressor to safely remove the top mount. Um, and then we can un undo the, the nut that's holding the uh, top mount in place and then transfer over the top mount to the new coilover. Again, it is highly recommended that you use a spring compressor tool to remove the OEM spring from the existing strut because this is under extreme preload. So you do not want to remove that nut without the spring compressor tool. Okay, already have one side of the spring compressor tool in place. And now I just need to go ahead and add the other part of the spring compressor tool on the other side of the spring. And I'll put a link down in the description below because this is pretty inexpensive and um, it's really easy to use. Okay, so now with the spring compressor tool in place, all we're gonna do is take a half inch drive and basically just cinch these down a little bit um, at a time on each side. What I'm gonna use here is my um, impact. So, and then I have a half inch extension here. Um, and it's easier to do the use the extension because sometimes that, that bit gets too close to um, this top mount here, as you can see, if you were to use without it, then it'll just hit it and, but, you know, have a little extension on here and um, just go ahead and uh, start compressing it all down. Now we need to remove the nut that's at the top that's holding this top mount in place. And there's this rubber little gasket here that's covering the nut there. But as you can see, it's ready to go. The uh, spring is, um, is definitely under a lot of preload now, so which is now safe to remove the um, top mount. So let's go ahead and do that, take that nut out and uh, remove the top mount. Now as a tip, you guys saw me use this through socket here to remove um, that nut that's holding the top mount along with a T30 bit here. And basically, so you could uh, put this T30 bit through this through the socket um, because this nut here that's holding that top mount in place has a spot at the top that holds that T30. So if you don't have anything that's holding that in place, um, then you're just gonna sit there and spin all day long um, without utilizing this T30 bit. But in order to be able to do that, you actually need this through socket. So you can put the T30 bit through there to engage both the nut and the little stud that's holding 
a top mount. Okay, with the top mount out, we're gonna go ahead and release all the compression on the spring, and that should be it. See, and there you have it, guys. Definitely need these spring compressor tool to, to be able to compress that spring. I mean, look how much it actually was under preload. I mean, that thing was, I don't know, maybe three quarters of the length right now. So as you can see, it definitely would have been pretty dangerous if you were to remove that nut of the top mount without that spring compressor tool. No, really, it's just the easy part. It's just putting the new spring on the coilover and then putting that top mount on. And it does, this particular coilover comes with a new nut. Um, so you don't have to worry about that uh, other type of that nut that requires a T30. So this one in particular does not. So anyways, this is the easy part. All you're gonna do is slide the spring through the new coilover and then obviously the bottom of the spring sits a specific way on top of that uh, little mount there. So let's go ahead and put this together and that should be it. That's it. Now it's ready to go in. So if you guys found this helpful, um, removing the OEM top mount of an existing uh, strut and um, with a spring compressor tool. And again, I'll leave that link down in the description below so you can check it out on Amazon. Pick one up for yourself. That way you can safely remove the top mount and safely remove a spring. So if you guys found this helpful, hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for more. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.